après. The first musical memory that I have was uh, Tony Hawk's the skateboarding game. Every like 10 15 minutes, Johnny Cassie's Ring of Fire would come on. I remember when it would come on, we'd all be jumping about the bed, and that was like the first kind of memory I had. I used to sing that song like, every day. I then got a guitar, Ring of Fire was the first song that I learned. And then through that, my kind of influences developed through listening to Johnny Cash and Bob Dylan. And I found out about the Beatles, and then Sam and Garfunkel, and then the Kinks, and it all just kind of all just, it all just happened, do you know what I mean? Busking really helped me because that was a thing that I see that as an apprenticeship. Before I started busking, I, I found it hard to play in front of anybody, never mind playing in front of a crowd. That's what got rid of the shaky voice and the shaky legs and stuff, and got me to a level where I could actually perform. Uh, King Tut's is a, is a special place, it's got a lot of history there, obviously bands like Oasis and Charlatans and stuff. When I found out that I was the fastest Scottish sailing debut for that, it was, I don't know, it was, it's hard to, kind of, it's hard to believe. For a Scottish musician, it's a, it's, it's a big achievement. It's hard to put any words how special that gig was, do you know what I mean? Especially coming from Glasgow. It's one of the best gigs I've all played in my life. Amazing, I love the touch. So I have been uh, just in the studio the last few months. I'm getting to a point now where I'm touring regularly. I'm releasing music as well, so it's a beautiful thing being able to have that kind of two or three months in the studio where you know that the music you put out, there's, there's people, there is people there waiting to listen, do you know what I mean? Uh, Jerry's like a brother to me. The amount that I've learned half him over the last few years is he's took me on his tours with him and uh, we've been writing together, we've been jamming together. I think he's took me all over Europe. It's funny because we started from, we're doing like kind of 500 caps in the first tour that he took me on. Now he's selling at stadiums, which is, it's hard to put in your words just how special that is. It's such an inspiration, do you know what I mean? To see somebody from Glasgow coming up and as I said, playing playing those small gigs and it just being a kind of such a massive build up to the point where he's selling at stadiums is just as I said, it's hard to put any words how special it is. I wouldn't be where I'm at if it wasn't for a lot of the lessons that I learned off him. Glasgow's always kept me grounded. It's a place where it'll always bring you back down to earth if you get ahead of yourself. I've learned to become self critical. I can look at maybe it's a certain lyric or something, I can go, can, how, how do I make this better? Do you know what I mean? And that's the kind of thing that Glasgow does for you. Well, I've got a few gigs in that coming up, and uh, I've got some tunes coming up. So I've got a lot to look forward to in terms of releasing music and and obviously playing the gigs and stuff. Sometimes it gets a bit overwhelming. There's been people that have told me I always just kind of live in a moment because if you don't, then you're going to look back on it and go, well, where did it go? Do you know what I mean? As I said, I'm just enjoy just enjoying every day.